Okay, so this is the uh, new video on um, you know team mod loader. So yeah, so basically we're making wings, uh, a consumable, and an NPC like a slime NPC. So let's get to that. So first of all, you want to have your Visual Studio Code open. As you can see, I already have all the code in for him. I'll just put this in a package, you know? Okay. So, if you're working with your uh, NPC, it would be way different. So, you have to put, like, you know, the uh, your, CS, your CS file name. You have to put mod NPC. So, it will work out with everything NPC. You need to put all this as NPC. You have to have a display name instead of, you know, a tooltip. Because NPCs don't have two tips, so you put the name on it, and it's gonna be whatever the name is. So bloody slime. That's what I have it set as. Okay. So NPC ID. Uh, well, the AI type, animation type. This is gonna be basically how it works as. So I have it as green slime, because you know it's a slime. And this is sound ID, which is I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a slime death. And AI style in one. Uh, this is the value of your NPC. It doesn't really do much. It drops coins and stuff like that, but that's pretty much it. Defense, life max, uh, damage, and the width and the height is pretty important on your NPC. So you need to uh, get that. Uh, basically, to get your spawn chance, you just do return. Well, you put this code in the return. If you want to make it very common, you can do like 12, but if you make it like really rare, 0 0.000001 Boom. Now that's like least likely, like that's never gonna pop up. But I'm just putting it as one. Okay. So you wanna save that? You wanna add this code right here? This is basically like, you know, the frames of your character. And this is what drops from your character. So you'll get, you know, black lens uh, and a pink gel. Okay, now we are done with our NPCs. This is how the bloody slime looks like. But if you wanted to add animation, there'd be more textures into it. But I didn't. Okay, so now we're moving on to the wings. This is your display name for the wings. You can add a tooltip if you want. So like, you know, tooltips that you'll see on the celestial star and stuff like that. But I didn't, add, I didn't add one. I should probably add one when I put this up, but Okay, so basically most of this is 1.3 code. It doesn't really matter, but you have to add item dot wing slot. Uh, you could put whatever, so it could go inside the wing slot. Cause I I was stuck on that too. Um, this is you have to put uh, all this code for it to work like horizontal. You could change the, you could change the speed and acceleration if you want. Uh, this is like you know how how much is gonna go vertically. And this is how, mi how much it's going to be up in the air. So I have it on 300. And, you know, the crafting. You could also do the recipe group. But we already explained that in the uh, last video. You can, here's the, uh, the file for it. Uh, I'd have it add a animation for it. So, yeah. Okay. Now we move on to our potion. So you will need a tooltip for your potion to tell what it does. As you can see, it says heals 125 health, and you have to put item dot heal health, um, heal life, and you put how much you put there. You have to put item dot consumable and item dot potion true, if it's gonna be a potion. But if you don't want it to be, you can just take that off. Um, yeah, put use uh, item style, and you have to do this. If it's gonna be like a potion, yeah, you gotta have eat food. And the value, rarity, you know, and the crafting. That's how you do your potions. Now we're gonna do global player. So basically, or not global player, goal island. So this is like you could change whatever you want. So say, I like I had the uh, vortex beater. <clears throat> I added more damage to it, but we could do like, wait, we could do like item. And let's do another item. Let's do what? 
Nebula Fist. Nebula Blaze. What, what is it? I think it's Nebula Blaze. Yes, yeah, Nebula Blaze. Well, the Nebula Fist. And it should fix that. It should make it different. So we have to open up our T model loader. And once you changed everything in here, you want to build and reload. We go to our workshop, develop mods, and build and reload. Let it uh, build the DLL and the pack for it. Alright, so we have an error for our bloody potion. We're missing bloody because we added blood potion. We have to fix that. Where's our potion? Right here. So, as you see, it says blood potion. We fixed it with the Y. And it should, it should work now. So, we have to build and reload again. Alright, now it works. Let's go. It worked. Alright. Single player. Now. Should be able to fly with wings. Uh, should be able to see your NPCs. They come by, you know, casually. They're not going to come by every second. Unless you have them really high up. But your wings. As a wing slot. I'll, I'll put an animation for it. So it doesn't just, you know, show some different wings. Uh, the nebula, the nebula blaze. Oh yeah. Now the uh, the vortex beater does more damage. The nebula does the damage I put 190. And now everything's fixed. And globally, the items are different. Uh, let me go make the potion. So I'm already down in health. So the potion, and then boom. All right, now let's get our last item, which is the, um, which one did we just get? Oh wait, we already have the wings, Never mind. Oh yeah, let's go see the NPC, so I'll put the NPC rarity up. So let me go to my NPC. Slime and let's put this at 12. And then we gotta build and reload again. This is gonna be more widespread as you see. It doesn't have its full animation, but it's still there and it still has a lot of health. Like it's been set on, it's been set on 250 health. So if I can go find another one, it should pop up. Yeah. Had uh, 250 health. Wait, does it shoot projectiles? That's cool. If it does, that's cool. And our bow. So everything's working pretty well. All right. So that's the end of the video. Uh, hopefully, this guide has helped. And.